What's going on, everybody? See here. Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. So as you can see, look at this. We're, we're at the main factory. We're at the big, our bigger factory. It's the Giga Factory. Well, it's our Giga Factory. It's not the gigest of the Giga Factory, but it's a Giga Factory nonetheless. Anyways, what are we doing today? Well, we are going to be checking out and messing with the trains a little bit more. We're going to be moving some stations, moving some things. Um, I have a rough idea set up. Now, I was going to place these on top, but I was like, you know what? If we could get them like down here, kind of hidden out of the way, that would be super nice. So uh, we're going to try to do that. And we're going to put them down here and do some train stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to leave a like. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more. So uh, we're going to need a couple things. Now, my plan is at this station is we're actually not going to do the looping anymore. We're going to just do the straight back and forth kind of thing. We're going to have the uh, the locomotive on each side, you know, go boop, 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 back and forth or whatever. Uh, now it's going to require some, you know, train station management, stuff like that. It's it's fine. It's fine. We'll figure it out. But um, I wanted to make sure that we had enough room for a few freight cars. And this should be enough room, I think. I think so. This one is going to be going uh, back and forth to the aluminum, getting the box site, and then bringing that back here, you know, dropping it off, doing the things. And then this one is going to be going over to where the circuit boards are being crafted because we pretty much have a whole plant just making circuit boards i believe i think i don't know it's been it's been a while um we are gonna have to get rid of this little walkway right here though unfortunately it's just it's just gonna be in the way you know what i mean all right cool that guy has now disappeared it's like it's never been there in its entire life all right so actually you know what uh, this is probably work okay we are going to need uh transportation we're gonna need some freight platforms i'm gonna say we're gonna need two for the box site at least uh and then maybe what two for the other one so we need that much stuff total motors and heavy modular frames that's super easy all right so we can make four freight platforms so let's go ahead and get uh one there one there and then get these over here now i'm hoping i'm hoping that this isn't going to cause issues with these being here like this i don't think it will i think we'll be fine uh because we have these two which are going to go from the train from here to over there you know what we should take a little jaunt over there and kind of see what's going on actually you know what let's use let's sorry let's use the hypertube cannon to get over there i just need to shoot myself over the mountain without dying ah uh, that might be a bad idea now nah, let's try it anyways all right that might work uh it's gonna kind of shoot us over that way but i think i think we'll be fine I think we're fine. Okay, now I gotta remember. Let's see. Uh, we wanted 12, right? Or no, we wanted like 15-ish, maybe. All right, we're gonna go with uh, we're gonna go with this one. Hope for the best. Ah. Uh, okay. I mean, it kind of got us over here. You know what though? I've never been up here. This is a good place for a factory. This is not the worst place to build a factory. Holy moly! It's actually quite nice. Look at that. You got all the water here like it's a super flat area this is like a primo factory building area oh wow what could what kind, of, what kind of factory could we build up here you could build whatever you wanted i mean you have the water like literally right here is this real water or is this fake water i think it's real water it's real water it's not like the fake visual water it's real water holy moly okay um mm, i really want to build a factory up here too Jeez, louise <gasps> yeah there's my factory right there that's where i wanted to go uh look <laughs> Look at that train disaster. Oh, yeah. I want to try getting the train stations fixed up a little bit here. Okay. So let's go see what we need over here. You know, I just realized I don't have any defensive tools whatsoever. Not a single one. Not even a zapper. That's not going to be good because I know. I know the things already respawned here because they like to respawn all the time. Yep. There's the plant right there. Wonderful. Wonderful. Let's just go over here and kind of see what we got going on. I believe the only thing being made here is circuit boards, if I'm not mistaken uh let's see here wait we're making plastic wait why are we making plastic we're still making plastic here oh you know what we probably are but we don't even need plastic anymore we have plastic being made back at our home place uh so we definitely don't need plastic here we need rubber we just need rubber and wait hold on what is this is this rubber and petroleum cook that's what that's what we need rubber petroleum cook yeah we need rubber petroleum cook that's what we need we might have to reset up a circuit boards a little bit here all right, well, for the time being, I think the only thing we're going to be making here is uh, circuit boards. So we're going to let this guy keep running, doing his thing. But we're going to hop a ride back. So I just need, I really only need one. Yeah, I really only need one freight platform here for that. I mean, we could split it into two just in case. Hmm. Maybe we will. Maybe we'll add another one just in case. And new air home. All right, so we're going to go ahead and turn the autopilot off on this bad boy. Literally just sit there. That's all I want you to do. 
just hang out there for now because i got to do some deconstruction oh actually you know what we need to back this guy up here let's just back this bad boy up a little bit get it out of the way of the platform here oh you know what this guy's delivering petroleum coke to our Ooh, this guy is delivering petroleum coke to our um our aluminum down here that's fine we'll figure it out we'll figure it out all right so uh i don't need you you or you we don't need any of that we can go ahead and start getting rid of some of these guys um i think our hyper tube thing is probably gonna get end up getting moved okay, so we can do that but then we got to bring it around it's got to go down and then around into there right here so this platform is where it actually needs to turn now we could maybe bring it down and then turn it so it would like drop down through this platform that would be kind of cool all right so i got this rail set up here i need this rail to just connect to there all right that worked out pretty good so that will allow it to go whoop, right down into the train station no problemo now we gotta see if we can get it to connect up through here drop through the platform <laughs> how come i don't feel like this is gonna be as easy as i would think it would be all right i think i got it hooked up it actually doesn't look too too terrible now it does have a it does have this kind of like weird little bulgy thing going out but i think it kind of has to have it otherwise it says it's too sharp so it has to go out just a hair more and then come back and recenter up so uh I'm not super worried about that but that guy is hooked up now we should be able to ride a train right on into the station now i also got to figure out how this is going to work with the secondary locomotive because we're like i said we're going to have a second locomotive that's going to be running uh one's going to be running in one direction the other one's going to run in the other direction so i'm going to have to come play with that and see how that works i think it'll work no problem no power oh that's because we didn't connect it to power on the station all righty all right we should be good i'm curious to see how this works we should be able to just to squeak down through here. Oh my gosh. That actually worked out pretty perfectly. <laughs> oh, this is super cool. I love it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Now let's back, let's back up a hair. <laughs> All right. So this guy's going to be here. Um, we're going to have to do some train stuff. Let's do some train stuff. Train station. Uh, timetable locomotive all right let's uh let's rename the locomotive here we're gonna do uh this is since this is like the oil uh oil area we're gonna do this is gonna be train oil one enter but then i'm gonna need okay so oil one is not gonna go anywhere oil one is literally going to wait what, what stop is this borgasta train station giga one okay so this will be giga one enter that so timetable oil one is going to be going to it's gonna be going from oh gosh next stop it's gonna be going from oil mark two to giga one so this one's actually only gonna go from giga one to mark for, from there to here uh so that should work and then i should be able to throw another electric locomotive on the back of this let me see here do we have the stuff no i don't have beacons darn it oh hey there's my okay you know what let's take that <laughs> let's take our stick with us shall we uh beacons i think i could just make some all right so we should be able to put a electric locomotive right on there is this connected though are you connected yes you are okay that works out perfectly okay so then this guy is going to be oil two uh train table oil one train station giga one. Oh, you know what i probably can't do it until it's at the other station all right so now we have to drive this guy over to the other station to get it locked up and then we're going to change oh yeah we're going to change the track over there too because it's going to have to be uh, yeah it's going to be a little bit different okay all right so i don't know if this is going to work do i need a train station on the other one okay timetable Ooh, oil one let me see let's go into here oh wait oh is this considered the same train is this considered the same train hold on a second because if that's oil oh oh so maybe it is considered the same train okay so if i hold on a second if i do uh, oil one um let's see let's add a timetable giga one to oil mark two will that work is it is it that easy if we have one train station does that work because this has nowhere to go so if i go here autopilot on invalid next stop okay so oil two timetable giga one oil mark two giga one. Oh, it's leaving without me oh it's working oh no way is it really that simple 
<laughs> no way, I love it. Oh, then we don't have to have all the loops and stuff. Oh, this is amazing. I need to come back in here and I need to redo all of this track though, because all this track is terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Oh, so, okay. So I was thinking it was actually naming this specific locomotive, just the one. So I thought I was gonna have two, you know, two separate timetables from one going to one to the other, but it's not. It's registering us all as one train. So like this whole thing is one locomotive and oh, I see, I like it. Now I'm curious, is it gonna offload its goods? It should, it should offload everything. Oh, unable to reach next stop. Oh, well it went, but it didn't offload anything. Oh, you know why? It's cause I didn't select this to offload. These need to be offload, not loading. I'm a dummy. It said unable to reach next stop, but then it worked. Weird. All right, well, it's going, it's doing things. <laughs> That's good. All right, so now the same thing with this guy right here. Uh, we're gonna name this Giga Factory Giga 2. This is gonna be named Giga 2. Uh, and then we're gonna be, do the exact same thing with the box site. Now I'm gonna just tie into the box site train track that we already have, uh, train station. All right, so that's Giga 2, fantastic. So we just need to tie in to the existing train station. That's good. Um, for the existing train track, how do I want to do this in the most prettiest way possible? I think we're actually going to end up taking this guy out here and we might be able to squeeze it underneath of this. Let's see if we can squeeze it underneath of this. <gasps> that one's not perfectly straight on a, oh, we have to fix that because that is not perfectly centered on a platform. That is unacceptable, unacceptable. So this track right here is pretty much good to go. Uh, and I was gonna wait to hook it up, but I think we're just gonna go ahead and hook it up now. Um, I think the train's down there. I'm hoping so. I don't I don't think it's down there. I'm pretty sure it's yeah, it's down there. Okay. All right. So uh uh okay, there went all our power. <laughs> but basically for a perfect 90 degree, you need about four platforms on each side. So uh like one, two, three, four on this side, and then I would also need uh, one, two, three, four on this side. So like a nice, like four by four. That gives you like a perfect little 90 degree, but this is a little bit bigger than that. So we should not have an issue here. I'm trying to keep it as clean and organized as I can. Let's see. Okay, so that's gonna go into there roughly. You know what, let's just, let's just go ahead and start turning this thing. Actually, we'll do that and then just connect it directly into there. Too sharp of a turn, what? I don't believe it, not for a second. What in the heck? It wants to connect just like that. Uh, you know what? It'll work for now. It'll work for now. Okay, so we gotta get, <laughs> we gotta get power hooked back up. I didn't think I had power hooked up on this guy. Oh, it's coming. Oh, she's coming. She's coming in hot. Oh, coming in super hot. Oh gosh. Okay, we got it. Unable to reach next stop. Yeah, you better start breaking, man. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a roller coaster thing right here because I had to go underneath the deal. All right, that's fine. I got you. I got control. Uh, no, here, autopilot off. Thank you. And let's start rolling. Hopefully we don't clip. I mean, I'm not super worried about it. Nothing really actually clips anyways. Oh, it's like a glove. It fit like a glove. Perfect. All right, so we are going to need, I'm actually kind of curious now because of that whole locomotive thing. Like if I go here, timetable, locomotive two, maid hub. No, we're gonna trash that. We're gonna add a new stop. We're gonna add, uh, oh wait, is this? We didn't rename this, did we? No, we didn't. All right, so Giga two, um, it's gonna go to Giga two, right? Now, will it actually, can it just reverse the whole way? Or is it unable, autopilot on? Unable to reach next stop. Okay, so I think we have to have Giga two timetable locomotive unable to reach next stop so uh box site to giga two and then box site is that is that gonna fix it no okay so we probably actually have to have the second locomotive on the back that's fine uh but i think we can go ahead and get rid of probably that one and then let's throw another locomotive on the back here and that should work wait hold on one Ooh, we need another freight car back here too all right so there's a freight car and then Another locomotive right there. You're going the wrong way. Like that. Okay. Now, there it goes. She's off to get the box site. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we have the trains hooked up and they're, well, they're a monorail now, technically, because they only have one rail. They don't go in circles or anything. <gasps> it's wonderful. What is this guy doing? No power. What? How did you not, how do you not have power? Oh, you know what? Now it has power, right? 
no power uh oh um oh because this guy's running off nuclear power from the other side wait does this not tie into the main hub then um 1900 megawatts there we go all right yeah we're good now there it goes okay cool <laughs> i was getting a little worried i was like uh oh our power situation just shot it it's no good now oh man we would have had to add so much more i really should go over there and check on the nuclear power but um yeah there you go there we have it we have some trains we have some new train stations here we have one coming in from the box site we have one coming in from circuit boards and uh, a little bit of petroleum coke over there like i said we're probably gonna redo some of that stuff over there but um i don't really think we're gonna need trains bringing in anything else anywhere else so i i really think that these two little trains right here are probably gonna handle most of what we need to and we could always expand if we need to as well but i don't foresee us needing to do that now i did disconnect the main that our first factory off of this uh this train here because it was going all the way over there it wasn't getting anything anyways um, and I don't think we're really going to need a whole lot of stuff from that factory, but, um, you know, it's over there. We can do the things later with it if we need to, but, um, yeah, let's get in this episode guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as well for some more and I will catch you in the next one.